Hi, so who is this Francis Ngano? Uh, Francis Ngano is a Cameroonian mixed martial artist in the heavyweight division and he's currently fighting for the Ultimate Fighting Championship, which is the UFC. It's an organization within the MMA circle, the mixed martial art circle. And in the MMA circle, even in boxing, heavyweight is one of the biggest literally and figuratively divisions within the sport. Wait, but let me confirm the mixed martial arts weight classes so the super heavyweight is the biggest uh, but i have never seen any super heavyweight fight um, and it doesn't have any limitations of the weight bracket uh, the heavyweight is 120.2 kgs to 120.7 kgs yeah so any anyway, francis and Kano fights in the heavyweight division um, for the ufc and before we get to that point of his fighting career let's talk about his upbringing and how he got to this level of mixed martial arts. Sungan was born in Cameroon in a very poor background and at the age of 10 he started working in a sand quarry um, or sand mine where he would dig up sand for construction and they would sell it. He was brought up in a very big family that would not be able to sustain itself if only the parents would work for their ends meet. So everyone had to you know, chip in and bring something to the table which ultimately led him to miss out in his childhood because he was doing child labor during his early adult life he always wanted to be a boxer and he started training back in cameroon but he thought that he needed a much bigger opportunity in boxing and he knew that in africa it was not that big of a sport so he decided to move from cameroon and migrate all the way to europe in the search of a much better opportunity in boxing and at this point at 25 years old you'd think that the worst is behind him having worked as a child but based on his story this is the point where life really punched him in the face so his journey started from cameroon to nigeria which took him two days and because cameroon and nigeria are neighbors it was very easy for him to cross to nigeria and from nigeria he had to go to niger which was extremely difficult for him because one as a cameroonian for you to go to niger you have to have a visa which he did not have he was immigrating illegally the level of corruption in niger is very high so they would just randomly part you and take all your money and in these situations you really need money for you to move from point a to b from different countries until you get to where you're going it was extremely difficult but he managed to cross niger and also in the northern part of niger you had to pay specific travel agents in quotes who would help you cross the sahara desert in between niger and algeria and how francis describes that road trip through the desert is insane you have to move from one point of the desert to the other point to cross the desert you're about 25 people in one toyota tacoma car 25 people everyone has luggage you're all stuck in it you have to hold on the car is going about 150 kilometers through the desert so that means you have to really hold on if you fall over the car is not stopping for you you're left in the desert you'll probably die in the desert if the car breaks down in the desert you're also fact because that means you'll probably die and also there are government agencies in algeria and also niger who patrol the desert to see or to find anyone trying to cross the desert to algeria so if you make it francis also details that there's a point during his crossing there's a woman who had a baby in the car and she was in the middle point just in case she would let go there were people around her to prevent her from falling and she had a baby and at some point during the crossing the 24 hours of crossing she was fed up with the baby so someone else had to carry the baby she got to a point where she did not want anything to do with the baby and that is so mental because you've been put in a situation by life whereby you're ready to give up everything and you're basically trying to survive so anyway they successfully got to algeria and in algeria they had to pretend that they are from mali because people from mali the neighboring country can leave or move around Algeria freely without a visa so he had to pretend he's from Mali and then he traveled from Algeria to Morocco which was his next stop to at least get him to Europe through Spain and he stayed in Morocco for a whole year trying to cross the border between Morocco and Spain and in that one year it took him seven attempts his first attempt he fell in a barbed wire which cut him really bad he had to go back regroup in the forest in Morocco until he's better again with the people that he's migrating with and then try again the second time the third time the fourth time getting arrested getting caught running away the sixth time, the seventh time, he finally managed to 
cross and that took him a whole year so he got into a boat and they crossed the ocean to spain europe and they were caught by the red cross team and they were taken into custody of the police and after they were caught he was arrested in spain and he spent two months in jail in spain so any after he was released in Spain after the two months he traveled to France and he was very happy because at least after 14 months he finally got to France and now he can begin his boxing career. He started looking for a boxing gym where he could start training and knowing very well he has no money he was living in a parking lot and luckily he came across this gym that took him in. One of the gym coaches gave him $50 which is 5,000 Kenya shillings, to go and at least get some gear and come start training. Eventually, he became good at boxing and the coach advised him to change from boxing to MMA, mixed martial arts. He overcame adversity and got to where he is. Francis Ngannou is considered as the hardest record puncher in UFC history. And at UFC 260, which happened on March 27, 2021, he fought Stipe Majocic. He knocked out Stipe Majocic in round two and becoming the new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Oh, 